Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to help you achieve a good score in part two of the IELTS speaking test. Part two has a very different format to parts one and three. Understanding it is crucial to success, so that's where we're going to start. The total time for part two is three to four minutes, including the introduction, preparation time and the talk itself. In the introduction, the examiner will give you a cue card with a topic written on it. As well as the topic sentence, the cue card will also have three to five bullet points telling you what to include in your talk. We'll look at an actual cue card in a minute, but first I want to outline the format of this part of the test so that you understand exactly what's going to happen. You'll be given one minute preparation time during which you're allowed to make notes. You can refer to your notes while you're talking. You'll be asked to speak on this topic for up to two minutes. The examiner may then ask you one or two questions about your topic. It's impossible to predict the subject you'll be asked about. The range of potential topics is vast. So don't waste your energy stressing about this, worrying that it will be a subject you know nothing about. It will be what it'll be, but you can be sure that it will be related to you in some way. For example, something about you, something that has happened to you, or something you have experienced. With the strategies and techniques I give you in these videos and on my website ieltsjackie.com, you'll be able to speak for two minutes on any subject you're given. Here's an example of an IELTS Speaking Part 2 cue card. Describe a place you like near water. You should say where this place is, what you did at this place, who you went there with and explain why you like this place. The topic is stated in the first sentence. In this case it's a place near water. The three bullet points and final clause are a guide as to what you should talk about. Here's another example. Describe something healthy you enjoy doing. You should say what you do, where you do it and who you do it with and explain why you think doing this is healthy. Again, the most important words are the first sentence. Describe something healthy you enjoy doing. This is your topic and what you must talk about for your two minutes. The next piece of information I'm going to give you is very important and something many people don't know, so please pay close attention to it. You don't have to stick to the suggestions in the bullet points. There are many other things you could talk about as well. However, most people only talk about the bullet points and they work through them one by one in the order they're written. It's not a problem if you want to do this and it works well for the topic, but if it's the only strategy you have, you're very likely to run out of things to say before the two minutes is up. To talk for less than two minutes could lose you marks, especially if you stop more than five or ten seconds early. Don't worry if you go over two minutes, as the examiner will stop you when the time is up, although they may let you talk for slightly longer. Another reason you need to have other options for developing your talk is that you may find that the suggestions in the bullet points don't totally relate to your experience of the topic, or they aren't really what you want to say about it. The key is to stay focused on the topic. Use the bullet points as a guide, but don't limit yourself to them. You certainly don't have to use all of them, and you won't lose marks if you miss some of them out. Knowing this will put you ahead of most students because the majority don't know it. So what else can you talk about? Well, that depends on the topic, but here are some ideas. Your thoughts, your opinion, your feelings, background information, descriptions, examples, the present situation, the future situation, and really anything else relevant. Having a good selection of additional ideas to potentially talk about will give you the tools to tackle any topic that comes along. If you're lucky, 
you'll get a topic you're enthusiastic or passionate about. Something quite personal to you, such as describe a favourite photograph. A topic can be quite specific or a much wider general subject, such as describe a city you've visited. Now that you have a good understanding of the format of IELTS Speaking Part 2 and what to expect on the day, you need to develop some planning strategies that you can adapt for different topics. Well, I've done that hard work for you and created three different strategies. I've called them question prompt, brainstorming and the five senses. You can start using them on practice questions straight away. You'll find these three different planning strategies on my website, ieltsjackie.com, along with sample questions and answers. Just click the links below this video to go straight to the relevant pages. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.